Yo, what's going on dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare gameplay. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at my infected strategy. If this video helps you, make sure to drop a like. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Tip number one, learn the spawn locations. I'm going to use Breakout as an example. The first spawn point in here is the cell block. Another common spawn point is the showers or loading area. Another one is also the commissary. The caves are also a spawn location and the med bay. Think of it this way. If all your team's on one side of the map, then the affected is going to spawn on the opposite side. If, you know, like main spawns, like for team deathmatch and stuff. But keep in mind, all these spawn locations I mentioned can be blocked if your teammates are in those areas or have a line of sight on them. Tip number two attack inserts the infected are always equipped with them which allows them to spawn wherever they set it if you kill an infected person be sure to check the immediate area for attack inserts because if you miss it they may stab you in the back or hit you with a throw a knife if you're worried about them spawning close to you and you see an attack insert just go ahead and smash it that way they'll spawn away from you tip number three use tacticals and lethals all classes are equipped with tacticals and lethals guys for example the s ravage is equipped with a trip mine and a jammer grenade use them don't hold on to them you will replenish them after every five kills set up your trip mines in strategic places such as doorways or high traffic areas what i like to do is when there are a lot of infected and they're chasing me i like to throw one down that way, hopefully, the infected run over and I get three or four easy kills. And jammer grenades, wait until they're like three or four chasing you or even more. Then stun them all and get easy kills. Their movements are slowed down and it makes it harder for them to see and move towards you or even knife you. Use them. Don't hold them to them. I promise you, you won't regret it. Number four, be aggressive in the beginning. If you're using the R3K, it's best to keep your distance. Figure out where they're spawning and hold them back from a head glitch or a good area where they can't just sling a random knife. Don't forget about spawn locations. If your teammates block a spawn area, they could spawn behind you or in one of the four mentioned that I mentioned back when I talked about spawns. I recommend getting at least 10 to 15 kills before half the lobby is infected. It's much easier to get a D at when it's 9v9 as opposed to say 3v15, which leads into tip number five. Okay guys, in my opinion, the most important tip is to have an escape route in case there are a boatload of infected chasing you know all the wall runs you can take to get away one of the worst things you can do is get hemmed up against the wall when there's a shit ton of them and you have nowhere to go just like i said know your wall runs i see people all the time just sitting back the map waiting on the infected i think that's the worst idea be honest with you also stay away from your teammates that are in the back of the map go get kills and keep it moving all the infected will be chasing them and you can flank them and get easy kills and easy deatomizer do not and i repeat do not stay stationary what I mean is don't stand there and shoot them. Jump shot, strafe while shooting them, shoot them from wall runs, whatever it takes to get easy kills. One thing I do, especially when using S Ravage, is use advanced movement to dodge and from knifing me or throwing knives. If you have a lot of infected chasing you, you know, stun them and keep it moving. Wall run above them, keep going, set up a trip mine and just get away. Use head glitches on certain maps that you can get away with it on. So guys, if you play infected, you already know that throwing knives get slung from all directions and get stabbed in the back but this video hopefully will help you avoid those type of situations so if you enjoy this video be sure to drop a like if you are brand new to the channel subscribe right here also if these tips helped you come back to the video leave a comment let me know what works what didn't work if you got any suggestions to add to this video let me know down below as always i'm out peace and chicken grease